All right, I've opened up the Jack Audio Connection Kit, and Ray pointed out something that if if we had a basically a drum sequence that we wanted to add to our our song, right? Right now, by default, hydrogen is going out to the system, right? But we'd need it to go to our door, right? If we wanted to make it part of our recording. So what I'm going to do is is I'm going to go into our door, right? and I'm going to create another track. Right-click, Tracks, Stereo, Add. So now I've added another track here. Drums. I'm going to click in here and name this drums, right? Okay, and this is, and this is our Bach piece. All right. Enter. All right, now it's gone. All right. This is our Bach piece. I can name that. No, it's not letting me get into it, but all right. Ah, er, there we go. That's off. And I could name that Bach with a lowercase b just to make him angry. All right. And now I can select either one of these, right? So now what? Okay. Input channel here edit and delete these am I right so I'm gonna delete the system because right now you can tell in is going to the system right and we didn't want that so we wanted to go to Ardor hydrogen oh uh, I'm in Ardor so I want I want this to um, the input to come from hydrogens out so left and then for into to right right and left okay close now, if I go to the Jack controller, which is which one, right? It's this one right here. Now, now it's going here. What? Okay, I can see in Ardor, hydrogen is going right into Ardor. Those are all the tracks in Ardor that are coming in. All right. So now, um, all I have to do is reset my recording and re-record. Yeah. Replay, re-record. Do I have to arm each one of these? Uh, we probably don't want to record session of our ah, uh, okay. We to, so we don't have to re-record this track. What we really need to just record is this track right here. So uh huh. <laughs> and then we can select both and output them into one wave file. So I could arm this recording, right? And okay, sync control to Jack, and set this, and then arm the recording, and then press record, and then play. But it's playing here too. We're hearing it here, but it's not recording. And I'm not hearing the drum sequence, so I might not have. Uh, I might not have highlighted it in um, in hydrogen. You know, in other words, I don't might not have it selected. The pattern. Okay, hydrogen is not being keyed by Jack, so we have to set the controller for it to be Jack, right? mode song pattern instrument rack no I'm gonna try again from Ardor so go into Ardor and press record and play now we can hear it okay so now it's recording in here. So basically what I had to do, Ray, was just make sure that this was visible, right? I, I guess I had this selected and I didn't have pattern one selected there and so I had pattern two selected and for some reason it wasn't you're not sure? No? Uh huh. Okay. Maybe it wasn't rewound or something. I don't know. Anyway, this is all beginning stuff, but you can see basically that you're your controllers can come in and out here, 
and then this is going to be where you have your cells. Now if we wanted to we could um, use the selection here tool shift hold down your shift key and click on both and then we could select both no I needed to let's see here select both and then highlight this right and then I could output that so I could say session export selected range to audio file alright and I could call that export 3 and it's already set my left and right are set and so I can hit export and click OK and we're done so now places home folder downloads I think that's where we saved it no in my Dan folder Bach test 2 all right export and there it is and I guess my sound in is not my sound out Jack is controlling it has <laughs> Jack has hijacked my sound out so but it's right here if I wanted to double click on it still got to put the set the, I could open an audacity or have to turn off Jack so I could get control of my sound back okay I'll open it with audacity okay so I've opened up the the exported wave file that we created um, in our door right and now I've opened it up in audacity right we created we created, we, we created the wave file in Ardor. i I'm opened it up in audacity I can't play it because we're using the jack controller to control the audio on our system, right? We're no longer using the system, we're using Jack. So I stop the, the file, open up Preferences, had to scroll down all the way to the bottom to Preferences, and I can change the host to the Jack Audio Connection Kit. Playback system, is that all right? Well, we'll click OK and we'll see if it works. So now if I press Play, all right, and there it is. There's the, uh, the Bach piece. And the drum piece, you know, both uh, both tracks in one wave file with a left and right um, stereo wave file. That's pretty great, Ray. Thanks a lot. This is great that we recorded this. And once again, this is this is you know just the beginning uh, on how to get everything just working. It's going to take a lot more time to get good with it. That's true. We could save our project as uh, Audacity file, or we could export it as a mp3 file right test one dot mp3 Bach test uh, oh yeah we gotta go this is in Bach test 2 that we're sending saving it to so export and and we'll call it test test 2 dot mp3 and hit save alright we'll click the default we're not gonna set any tags just click OK and now we got an mp3 file. 